It has now come to my attention that the state arbiters of the program are now again accusing me of serious criminal offences that I have supposedly committed, but the respective governments are not pursuing any indictments against me for whatever reason. Firstly, I'm not aware of what I'm being accused of precisely. All I know is that I am being labelled guilty for having committed some kind of sex crime, which has supposedly taken place in the UK. That is literally all I know, which is just enough information for me to be able to respond, but not remotely enough information for me to be able to defend myself, at least in any meaningful way. As is always the case as it relates to the programme and the state arbiters' accusations and claims against me. In fact, as a matter of principle, almost everything that is claimed and said about me is kept secret from me personally. So again, we have a clear-cut case of me being labelled guilty for having committed a sex crime extrajudicially. No charge, no judgement, no legal process whatsoever. Flagrantly violating my legal and human rights. More specifically, Article 6 of the European Convention on Human Rights, which affords, amongst other rights, the rights to a fair trial, the presumption of innocence, the right to face your accusers, the right to see and dispute the evidence against you, and so on and so forth. Obviously, neither the Danish government or the British government are abiding by their legal obligations, despite both countries are signatory to the European Convention on Human Rights. And they are also directly responsible for the social and political persecution of me, Stephen Bell. Not to mention this latest allegation of a sex crime, thereby flagrantly violating the most principle of laws and rights which supposedly exists in countries that are governed by the rule of law. However, this can come to no one's surprise anymore as we are living in authoritarian times where the rule of law and the truth have absolutely no bearing on any matter in which the government's interests are involved. I hereby challenge the United Kingdom and the Kingdom of Denmark to indict me for all the allegations which they so perpetually rely on as a means of justifying the flagrant social and political persecution of me to the publics at large through their global propaganda and psyop campaigns that are broadcast on a daily basis to much of the world's populations. This is literally all I can do as the accused in this predicament because nobody is even willing to indict me, notwithstanding the state arbiters of the program are continuously broadcasting their allegations against me and my supposed guilt in their global propaganda and psyop campaigns rather than indicting me in accordance with the rule of law. Therefore, it is obvious for any objective person that all they want from these campaigns is the effects that it stokes in the minds and attitudes of the public at large as it relates to me personally, moreover as a means of justifying the social and political persecution of me and also the way in which they entice and coerce the public to participate in the program's global social engineering operations and that is after all the primary objectives behind the program.